Now I am going to dictate a journal passage at the rate of 100 words per minute based on Sir Koilas Chandra's shortened transcription number 324. Let's start. While moving the motion, the honorable member made a very fine speech giving us a clear picture of what the universities are today and what the universities should be. But, sir, I was unable to follow the objects of the bill. The aims of the bill do not seem to be clear even to the framers of the bill. In the statement of objects and reasons, it is said the Constitution of India vests Parliament with exclusive authority in regard to coordination and determination of standards in institutions for higher education or research and scientific and technical institutions. It is obvious that neither coordination nor determination of standards is possible unless the central government has some voice in the determination of standards of teaching and examination in universities both old and new. Stop para. If we observe this statement, we can see that it is the intention of the framers of this bill to have control over the universities at least with regard to coordination of standards of examination. If that is the object with which this motion is brought, then I wish to submit that they should have introduced a bill for controlling the universities. If we go through this bill, my suspicion that the objects are not very clear to the framers of the bill is confirmed because on the face of it, the title of the bill is University Grants Commission Bill. So the object that is intended is that a commission should be established and the commission should have control with regard to the utilization of the funds that are given to the universities. It means that the University Grants Commission should control the universities in respect of spending the grants that are made to the universities. But if you look at the provisions of the bill, they go far beyond this. Several clauses are provided here not only for universities which receive grants but for all universities which have been asked to furnish particulars to the commission and to observe certain other conditions. Then they will also be made liable to certain penalties in case they fail to submit returns. I could have understood if these clauses were made applicable only to universities which receive grants, but it is not so. As per definition, university means a university established or incorporated by or under a central act or a state act under the concurrent list. Stop. Thank you.